guys, welcome back to another Star Wars Shatterpoint commission painting video. So this time we have some 3D printed murder bears. Um, if you just type in Shatterpoint onto 3D cults or Star Wars, you'll find them pretty quick. So we have two of the large bases, um, so there's two different units. We have guys with sticks, which I think are hunters, and then guys with like bolos and slingshots, which I think are trappers maybe. I don't know which way they work, I haven't um, played them or read the cards yet. And then we also have a base with a, a, a little guy with a missile launcher. And then a, kind of a spotter. And then the other one has the guy with the missile launcher again, but this guy has a scout trooper and a stormtrooper helmet. And um, we have what I imagine is a chieftain of some sort. We have the stormtrooper collector on his own with his little blaster. And then we have two of this guy here, which is another chieftain model. So the plan is the bases will be painted similar enough to match in with the terrain set I've already done. And then for the rest of it, I'm going to go and look at the Star Wars Shatterpoint um, Ewok teams. There's two different teams for it, so they'll kind of be the inspiration for it. It's mainly browns, tans, there's a couple of white bears, um, different colour cloths and stuff like that. So. To start off, I'm just going to hit everything with a, a brown airbrush, so I think I have enough Morphine Brown to get through these guys. So I'm going to hit them with a Morphine Brown spray and we'll come back and have a look at what I'm doing next. Starting off with a uh, Ministratum, sorry, Mechanicus Standard Grey. I've painted uh, the clone helmets or the Stormtrooper helmets grey. And what I've also done is I've grabbed a couple of random Ewoks and they've just been given a watered down base coat of the grey, leaving the brown in the recesses. And I've done this little fella grey and also one of the Chieftains grey. So with some of them base coated in the grey, I'm now going in with Steel Legion Drab, which is a slightly brown colour, browny tan colour. I'm going to do the same thing again. Just going to throw on some quick messy highlights to this because basically they're bears, they're mortar bears, you know, it's four, it's not going to be uniform. So I want to try and build up different layers of colour. We can wash it back, we can highlight it up with dry brushing because they'll take dry brushing really well. So I'm going to throw Steel Age, I was going to say Dark Reaper, Steel Age and Drab onto a couple of guys and then we'll come back and have a look and see how they're looking. When you're doing this, don't forget to paint their faces in the hoods and the tips of their ears that are sticking out. Okay guys, so I just want to try and differentiate some of the colours a little bit more. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with some Dark Reaper and pick out one or two of the Ewoks in the grey scheme and just darken them down a bit further. Just to try and give some more variation in the four colours. I don't want them looking too uniform. So I'll do Dark Reaper, um, a couple of them. And once that's done then we can come back and have a look and see what we're going to do next. Okay guys, so the plan now is, before I get into too much detail work, I'm going to start base coating some of the bases, so all of the tree roots or branches, because I want them to match the terrain I've painted, I'm going to start off with some Rhinox hide, so let's just tin down a bit and we're just going to coat everything that's tree related on the bases in this Rhinox hide, I'll be covering up some of the other pieces of the bases, like this flat area here, that's going to be covered in the same kind of flock, lychee, I don't know what it's called, lichen maybe, sort of werewolf, I don't know. But yeah, that's the plan. Let's get this down, do it on all the bases, do a little bit of uh, dry brushing on some of the dirt and then we can start fully painting the Ewoks once these are done. Okay guys, with the trees painted brown, I'm going to go in now with some army painter matte black. 
The plan here is any of the rocky outcroppings, so these guys are standing on some rocks. Um, maybe some bushes growing up around them or some smoke. I don't know what it is yet, I'll have to look at up modern pictures. I'm just going to go ahead and hit that a quick base coat on matte black. Um, any stones, outcrops. Um, there are some giant causeway looking things here. I'll show you now. So basically that's what I'm doing. These guys, I'm going to paint these up the same thing. It's going to be bra or black over the brown. Get the base coats down and we can use some dry brushing to highlight it up to look like stone. Once that's done. So I'm going to go through and base coat absolutely everything that needs to be base coated with the black and then we'll come back and look at painting the actual ground foliage kind of texture. Okay guys, so now I'm coming in with some pure Caliban green and basically I just want this to be kind of the ground texture so I'm just going to slap it on all over the models. We can dry brush this up then with some Warpstone Glow should match the colour scheme that's on the flock that was used on the terrain and I also have some Death World Forest I think it is, Death Guard Green sorry. Um, that we can use to highlight up to kind of give it that pale, cool kind of highlight colour. Make the place look a little bit more drab and worn down and dead and stuff. Like this dead foliage on the ground or something along them lines. So any parts of the bases that are basically the ground or leading towards the ground are now going to be painted with this. And once that's done we can come back and have a look. Okay guys, so I have gone through and given everything two, to two coats of the Caliban green to make sure it's a nice green coat on it, painted some of the leaf kind of material that's going to be on the inside here. So what we're going to do now is take some warp stone glow and I'm just going to start dry brushing all the green areas. This is just kind of a preliminary start to highlighting everything up, we'll tie it back with some washes and dull it down and stuff like that, but for now what I'm going to be doing on all the bases to start. It's just this Warpstone Glow dry brush highlight and once that's done then I'll start with the wood as well. So I'm going to get this done on all the bases and we can come back and have a look once that's done. Okay guys, so the green bases have got two layers of the Warpstone Glow just to make sure that the highlight colour went on nice and easy and that we'd full coverage. So I'm now going in with more fine brown. And this is going to be just for the tree pieces. I'm trying to be careful not to mix it into any of the green that we've just done for the undergrowth. And I don't mind it getting on the Ewoks themselves because we can just repaint that nice and easy. Alright, so again. I'm going to go and do this on all of the Ewoks and then we can come back and have a look. Okay guys, I've done all of the Mornfang Brown onto the tree parts. I'm going to go straight in now, same brush, haven't cleaned it off right, and with some Steel Legion Drab. And we're going to do the same thing again. Just trying to catch the highest areas. I'm going to go ahead and get this done on absolutely all of the Ewoks and we can come back then and look at doing some of the stone before we start painting the Ewoks themselves. Okay guys, next step we have some black on the bases that I want to start dry brushing up to look like stone. So starting off with a Dark Reaper dry brush. Start. Okay, go 
choice first layer of the stone highlight is down we're going in now with Mechanica standard grey I'm going to do the same thing again Okay guys, final highlight for now is going to be Administratum Grey and we're just going to try brush this on a little bit lighter than the rest of them because I only kind of want this on the uh, toppermost points of the stone. Just, on. just want to lightly drag it across the stone. That's going to catch all the raised edges and what I can start doing then is coming in with some washes and stuff in a while and start tying it in to the base and blending it out a bit more but this is kind of the preliminary highlights and base coat still okay guys now that we have the dry brush done on everything we've the logs done we have the green kind of foliage based on I'm just gonna go in with some straight dark tone to basically darken all this down and shade it now a lot of this greeny base and stuff will have flock and stuff on it this is more just a precaution to make sure that if there is any gaps in the flock once we put it down it's um, it's not a different colour underneath what we want it to be basically so I'm gonna go ahead now and get all the bases painted I'm using army painter strong tone just to wash down absolutely everything and then we'll come back in and actually start on the Ewoks themselves Okay guys, so now that the wash, now it was a heavy wash, you can see it probably there, it's pretty dark and the recesses is done. We're just going to come back in with some Warpstone Glow, just to pick out the greens again. This is just to brighten them up and add layers of texture to it. So just a quick little dry brush onto the areas. I'm going to do this with the green, the brown and the grey. Uh, I think it was Administratum grey, was the lightest grey I used just to bring everything back up to a nice colour and then we're going to start on the U-Box or more, I will start on the U-Box, you'll just be watching ok guys, so I've got a bit of work done in the background here I've started painting in the hooded sections of all the Ewox. so any of these ones are done with Screamer Pink Death Guard Green Caliban Green um, XV88 and then just administratum grey so I've just spread them out, there's actually one or two sorry, that are done with uh, scarlet red as well so I've just spread them out across the whole lot to try and break up the the uniform colour a little bit I'm going to paint the bone sections with steel legion drab XV88 as a kind of a highlight and then they'll get a wash so my plan is to not high, uh, not to start highlighting the I suppose the teddy bear outfits until I've all the base coats down and a wash applied because then once I wash it all together it will pull it together and then we can highlight the different aspects to make them stand out. So I'm going to go in and start painting the bone. Um, do some of these guys have like stormtrooper armor on them? So he's wearing like different sections of stormtrooper armor. He's got a backpack. I'll paint the stormtrooper armor in Mechanica standard grey and then I'll start highlighting it up with some administratum grey and then some white just to finish it off because I want it to look dirty um, the blasters and missile launchers are going to paint them silver and black and sure we'll come back then and have a look and see where we're left with yeah okay guys so on the stormtrooper-esque Ewoks we've just got in with some administratum grey over the Mechanica standard grey base coat and we painted the blasters or missile launchers black so I don't think it'd be a smart idea to go and wash them now to try and tie them together I'm gonna to put the highlights onto all the cloth onto all the four um, I'll paint the sticks and then I'll hit them with the wash to tie it together and if we need to bring it back up with the highlight then it'll look better from that point so I'm gonna go in now and just start edge highlighting all of them with their appropriate highlight colour on the cloth and we'll talk about that when I come back um, and we'll see you once that's done okay guys so at the minute this is what we're looking at um, any of the 
screen where pink heads have been highlighted with pink horror. I miss this guy. The XV88 was highlighted with a mix of XV88 and Cadian Flesh Tone. The greys were highlighted up with Administratum Grey. Yep. The dark green is highlighted up with Caliban Green. The red with Mephiston Red. So we're kind of in a good spot here at the minute, I think. Um, I'm going to look at throwing some light highlight colours onto the four so we can get them up a little bit. Um, I'm going to hit the Stormtrooper helmets with some pale grey. Wolf grey, sorry. Vallejo Wolf Grey. That'll bring it up to a nearly white and then we can tone it down with the wash. I haven't decided what I'm doing on the backpacks yet, like the leather, so I'm gonna leave that for now and the wood on all their sticks because you know they're kinda all brown. Unless I just match it to the base, which will kinda keep it in tone, which might be the best option. So I'll paint the uh, the sticks with Steel Agent Drab. Sticks in here as well, Steel Agent Drab. And I'm gonna start going in with whatever the brown, the grey dark brown, I'm just going to go in and start highlighting them up and we'll have a look then. Okay guys, I haven't got to painting the stairs, spears in Steel Legion Drab yet, but I've gone through and just added highlights to all of the bears themselves, just to make them stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to hit all of this now with the, I was going to say right, fresh light strong tone. And then once it's done I can come in and scuff up the metal kind of black metallic stuff and um, do some more highlights on the cloth. I painted the Stormtrooper's armour with the wolf grey just to make it stand out a bit more. Um, there's actually a strap on his helmet I need to do and the spears and then I'm going to hit it with a strong tone wash and once that's done then we'll come back and see if we're going to highlight or not. I don't know because it depends on how the wash turns out. Okay guys, back with another update. I've painted uh, pink horror onto their noses and lips. I've painted their pupils black. The black areas were highlighted with Dark Reaper. Um, spears were done then with Steel Agent Drab and a bit of Scream Martin. No, you shot the bone, which is what I used on the terrain. So I think now we're ready to do the, the wash at last. So I'm going to go ahead and give all of the models, not going to touch the base. Just a dark brown wash and we'll come back and see then. Although that's the third time I said I'm going to do the wash, I keep doing more bits before I get to it, so we'll see. Okay guys, we're back now after all the washes have dried on the Ewok, so it's just going to be some highlights. I want to leave the clone helmets and armour kind of scruffed up and dirty looking like it's been out in the forest and in grime and stuff. Um, the bases, I want to make them... I want to take them up a little bit as well, so what I'm going to start off with is probably the hoods because that would be the easiest thing to do to see some work getting done. So for the grey hoods I'll be going in with Administratum Grey. For the green hoods I'll probably start off with a warp stone, don't want to go too high on it. Uh, yeah, warp stone. And for the reds I'll probably be Scarlet Red. Um, just to bring them up a little bit, the Death Guard green ones I'll probably start off with Death Guard Green. Um, this one here I think is XV88 I have I can go in with a flesh colour for that one I don't know I'll see how I get on when I get to it I'm uh, not 100% sure I might have done on that one but I'm going to do the holds and then we'll come back and have a look alright guys so I actually went on and just done a little bit more I didn't really highlight the 4 too much I think it's probably in a good place and I figured with the terrain it'd be better if your eyes were drawn to the bases and then you'd see the models from that. I don't know if this will work or not now, this is my theory because all the terrain is like a dull brown. So you're gonna have these guys with these kind of luminous green bases with like the leaves and flocks and stuff on them. Um it kinda act like a spotlight on the terrain once it's on it and that'll draw you in and from there then you'll walk up and look at the model. That's the theory behind it, so I highlighted up all of the cowls, um, I highlighted up the bone with just a few bone and then gave the spear tip some points. Clone Trooper helmets, I painted some wolf grey onto it and just wiped it away with my finger to make it look a little bit scuffed up. I re dry brushed the base with some Warpstone Glow and then some Mook Green and that was pretty much all I done after highlighting the 
uh, head cowls, hoods, whatever you want to call them. So I kind of have this smoke plume left after this guy's out to fire in a rocket, and I need to paint his glasses. And that means I need to paint his glasses too. And I think I'll do black and white feathers on this guy's headband. But other than that, I just have the kind of flock grassy stuff that I put onto the terrain to add in, and these guys will be done. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint the leaves on this guy's head black and then just do white stripes on them when they're dry and these guys glasses need to be painted with warp stone glow and then mook green to make them look like this and then I'll just start working on the smoke plume so it'll probably be more black and grey towards the edges I'll do some reds and oranges around the main part of it and then see how I get on from there so we'll see you back once we've painted some glasses and some smoke Okay guys, so I'm going in with Avalanche Sunset and I'm just going to base the whole smoke glue to start and we can start building up the reds, oranges and then into the blacks. Okay guys, now with the Avalanche Sunset fully dried, I'm going to go in with some Troll Slayer Orange and we're just going to start highlighting up some of these sections here. I don't mind it going into some of the recesses because I don't want it to be completely uniform because I don't want it to look like a plume or wall or some kind of cloth or something so I'm going to sporadically just highlight this up with a real thin layer of Troll Slayer Orange um, just to break up the colour a bit And once that's dry then I'm going to come in with some scarlet red from Vallejo and start working that into a smaller area on top and that way then it'll start to look like the plumes of smoke and then once that's done then it'll be a really really small layer of probably dark reaper and then black or just straight black depending to make it look like it's smoke starting to dissipate from the initial explosion. What I might actually do is just focus the colours around this area here and then start working the black into this corner down here. Just to try and make it look like um, the explosion came from one part rather than all over the whole thing. But I'll see how I get on with this orange and we will come back once it's dry. Okay guys, coming in now with my fist in red before the scarlet red just to try and give it a bit of a better transition. So I'm going to try and focus the reds and the blacks towards the back end of this area here. So same thing again. Coming in with the fist and red. Okay guys, I'm going to go in with the scarlet red now. Just as the final highlight of the red. I'm going to try and link some of these sections together and um, kind of take away the yellow on the line in the middle of all the sections. So, I'm just going in with the darker red, I'm going to start trying to glaze linkages between everything. And then, once that's done, we can start glazing on some blacks over in this area. I'll probably start with the dark reaper. I might actually start with just matte black and then work up to Dark Reaper. I'll turn this down a little bit more. I'm going to do the same around the edges then. Just to pull it down a bit. Should leave the majority of the yellow and orange up around this section. And once that's straight in, I'll start coming in with the black. Okay, guys, this is how we're looking now. So I'm just going to go in with some water down, map black, and start building up the smoke plumes. 
again just leaving some of the previous colour in the recesses here now just to get it to start building up the shape I'm going to do a couple of the outer pieces over here or the higher points with just the matte black make it look like they're already starting to turn to smoke from the initial explosion and I'm just going to go around the whole thing again and get some matte black down and once it's dry we can come back and see how we're fixed ok guys I now have some watered down dark reaper I'm just going to go in and start painting this on as a highlight to the black areas just give it a bit more pop I'm going to go through any of the areas that are black and I'll put a highlight on them and I'll probably come in with some administratum grey then next mechanica standard grey sorry and we'll do another highlight just to bring it up another level Try and add some layers and texture to it. Okay, guys, this is where how we're looking with the Dark Reaper. I'm going in now with Mechanica Standard Grey just to do the same thing again. And once that's all done, I'll come back and see how we're looking. Ok guys, coming in now with Administratum Grey, same thing again, just building up the texture with some water down layers. And again, I'll come back once this is all dry and done. Ok guys, so here is the spin around of five of the completed Ewok models um, went in and done the base and the same as I done on the Ewok terrain set so if you want to have a look at that feel free you can check out the video it's on the channel quite an interesting project to do um, kind of challenging painting organic for to be honest with you guys so this is kind of the bigger basis you can always your spears and your bolos here and just checking in on the app Ewoks took a total of 11 hours 12 minutes 37 seconds so that was from commencement of project to completion of project thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos and let me know what you think in the comments